it's a little bit smaller so it's a horse it's a pony with a really colorful like a really colorful mane okay and I see a child playing with it and uh, first she walks it like on a table she just moves it back and forth on the table and she she's kind of thinking it would be so cool if this thing can fly and so she moves it kind of like in the air you know back and forth as if the 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 pony is flying so which essentially means that you know it's a pony and she thinks it's sort of like a unicorn or a um a flying horse like a pegasus so she moves it into the air and when i saw this i was thinking there is a major something really really major in your life that you're hoping you can transform the situation in some way okay uh, transforming something from the mundane into something very very extraordinary okay or trying to make sense of a situation and I feel almost like you might be looking at it from a different angle um, I'm also seeing you might not be appreciating something fully for for it's it's almost like you're not able to see the full potential of a situation so rather than working and building up so that it can reach its full potential. I feel like you're kind of sitting there hoping that something would come in to change the situation because you're kind of out of ideas as to what you can do practically from your end. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it, it's almost like your hands are tied. I don't really know. I don't really know what else I can do to make the situation better. I don't know what I can do to change the situation. And at the same time, there's a sense of escapism as well. You know, wanting a situation to be uh, a lot grander, a lot different, because you're feeling like the situation is mundane. That's what it feels like to me. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you want to be a little bit careful about this energy. Um, the Mercury retrograde time frame, okay, so this is from the 5th of March and I believe it runs into the 23rd of March this is a very introspective time frame okay it's not an, a time to implement any uh, new ideas it's not the right time to make any changes it's really the time to kind of sit still and reflect on things that are happening around us and in the process of reflecting on those things we come up with automatic really really profound solutions to long-standing problems we're also given a different perspective as well as to how to solve situations and a lot of the times we kind of um, you know how when we go through life we kind of look at situation from our perspective but with this mercury retrograde cycle it forces us to kind of like look outside of ourselves and and in a way see how other people see us okay so this time period can be um, a little bit difficult for a lot of extroverted signs especially like the the fire signs and the air signs the signs that are very very extroverted um, they, they they seem to have a lot of problems when it comes to like you know mass communication dealing with other people or you know making plans with other people or just uh, trying to work things out with other people um, the more internal signs such as yourself you know earth signs and then water signs you guys are more I feel like more able to coast through this energy mainly because your energy is a lot more contained. But on the flip side of that, when your energy is very, very self-directed, you know, introspective, okay, or introverted, it can make you feel a little bit isolated, and it can also make you feel, during this Mercury retrograde period, you can feel almost as if you're going through your struggles on your own, even when there are other people around you, you feel like you are kind of like alone in your struggles, okay? And so that's one thing that you want to be a little bit careful of. There is help around you if you reach out for it, but you have to be the initiator. There is also solutions that are floating around you, solutions, like really, really good solutions to a situation 
that you fe you've been feeling for whatever reason. I'm not able to resolve this one thing. And the Mercury retrograde period is this, the time where new solutions will surface when it comes to long-standing problems. And so I really like this time period. I mean, you know, things can go wrong with electronics and, and things like that. But at the core of it, especially for you guys, it's all about problem solving. It's all about looking at a situation from a different angle and being able to kind of like think outside the box, think creatively in order to find a different avenue or a different route to kind of help you get around a situation. So whatever has been blocking you, I feel like you're going to be getting some type of insights into that, okay? Um, so I do definitely see that whole transformation uh, of the way that you're looking at a situation. And I also feel like appreciating the mundane rather than thinking the mundane is just the mundane. It's, it's kind of um, bland, vanilla, and boring. I feel like you're going to be really able to appreciate that at least it's stable, it's solid, it's something you can always count on. And in the process of appreciating something that is very constant or consistent in your life, you're going to be able to see uh, things that are, you're going to be able to see the proper value in the realm. all about, uh, it, it's a slowdown in some way, but it's almost like the, the clearing of that dust, you know, when the dust settles, that's when we can see a situation clearly. And when we accept a situation for what it is and try our best to fix it or, or tr just try our best to accept it and not wanting to, you know, control it or, or not wanting to change it anymore, that's when things will transform. So I definitely see a lot of um, in this spread about, you know, looking at situation, looking at things, looking at people, looking at life, looking at work from a different perspective, okay? So in a way, I definitely see, you know, the continuation of the beginning of the month, the, the whole process of leveling up, okay? Needing to kind of like build your foundation so that when you level up, you're leveling up in a very concrete and a very sturdy way. So that basically means um, cultivating your knowledge base, having everything that you need, and making sure that knowledge that you have accumulated is true knowledge that there is no knowledge gap, that there are no holes in the things that you're learning, so that you feel comfortable shifting from that knowledge base and starting to build more. So I definitely see a leveling up when it comes to people who might be students, people who might be learning a lot in their work environment, like if you're going through any type of training. If you yourself are training other people, I feel like you're also learning a lot in the process because a lot of the times, you know, we can't teach something properly unless we know it in and out. And so you might have come to realize, wait a minute, I'm, I, I have to, you know, prepare this presentation or this um, seminar or, or teach these people. And there are a few things that I'm unsure about. And when I get up on stage and they're going to ask me questions, I'm not going to be able to give them valid answers and I feel like many of you have really struggled with not wanting to be on stage and um, giving people you know the wrong answers leading them down the wrong path or even giving them information that might be once you fact check those the information that's given it might be false and so in the process of doing that you find yourself having to really, really build up and fortify your knowledge base just so you can disseminate and give out information to others in a correct way, okay? So I feel like you're definitely taking a lot of responsibility towards self-improvement, towards um, building up your knowledge, towards like research and development, and towards, I feel... Um, it's, it's more like digging for information just for your sake so that if somebody asks you, you have a, a ready answer. That's what it feels like to me. And so let me talk about the cards. We have here the High Priestess. 
this is spiritual enlightenment, enlightenment and this is um, pretty much about reaching some type of a solution okay looking at things more like through through intuitive hits through psychic downloads through getting some type of unexpected solution to a problem there was definitely a problem that got you really really stuck Capricorn we have here the eight of swords and the eight of swords is a situation where we don't know where to turn. We don't know who we can rely on. We don't know if we have all the necessary information. We don't know which option to choose and we don't know which what decision or what choices to make, okay? So this is a very, very stuck energy. And keep in mind, there's nobody holding this person hostage. This person is in this predicament because of their own... I, I want to say like it's not anybody's fault but this is sort of like you find yourself here in this state where you are unable to to make a decision because you feel like you don't have all the information you're also at a point where there are too many like there's too much information there can be too many people too many things to factor into the equation and you might not feel like you have all the information to adequately make this decision and so if this is, you know, happening at the beginning of the month, it, it very well could be. You have arrived at a very, very strong spiritual download. This information is coming in from your spirit guides, just so you guys know. It's not internal, okay? It, it's like, it's almost like it's a solution that you haven't really thought about before. And this Mercury retrograde period is really, really helping you. It's helping you focusing on where you want to go rather than focusing on all the other things, obstacles that you have to overcome between you and your destination. And as a result of that, you're definitely able to move ahead. Okay, this is like full speed ahead, moving in a very, very swift manner. Being able to kind of like I said, blast through those obstacles. Okay, this is like the the rocket getting ready to take off. Um, so I do see a lot of people in the creative field that might have had some type of creative blockages, um, burnt out. You know, like um, being overworked, over worrying, dealing with. Um, deadlines like tight deadlines a lot of like productivity quotas and not really sure if you're going to be able to meet all the hours not making not really sure if you're going to be get all, getting all your work done on time so i'm feeling like there was a major time crunch possibly at the beginning of the month and we're seeing the very end of the time crunch okay um others of you i'm getting a lot of spiritual energy and what it means to me personally is um, I feel like there was that time crunch and you're just like, please, please, you know, praying. You're like praying, um, tell, asking, please give me more time. Please allow me to, you know, get this project done on time. Please allow me to take care of everything that I need to take care of in a timely manner. And I, I feel almost like you were either physically praying or you might have said a little prayer in your head. And I feel like your, you know, the universe, the divine, your spirit guides, whatever you want to call it, they really, they heard you. Okay, they heard you. And they bought you more time. And I do see as well, some of you assignments dashed off. Okay, it's almost like th this time crunch really got to you. And um, you try to get everything in. And so when we are dealing with a time crunch, we kind of have to make sacrifices too. You know, so I'm going to turn in, so let's say you have five things that are due. And you know you have to turn them all in. And so what you do is you spend a little bit less time to perfect the quality of each of these assignments. And so you might have dashed off, you know, all five assignments. It met the deadline. But you're getting some type of results that, and, and you know, you guys are really hard on yourself when it comes to your work. And you're starting to realize that, oh, uh, you know, the quality is not exactly what I was looking for. Okay. And then I feel like if you, those assignments are being handed over to somebody who makes the final approval, who looks it over, you don't have to worry because what you feel you guys are really hard on yourself 
earth signs are really hard on themselves. And so you're just like, I wish I had more time. I wish I'd done it differently. And so you're in this state where you're just like, I wonder what they're going to say. I wonder if they're going to like the, the outcome or the end result. I wonder if I'm going to get really positive feedback. You are going to get very positive feedback. We have the star here, okay? And mean, in the meantime, when this is coming through, this is basically a card about recognition, fame as well. It's a card about inspiration and wish fulfillment. So this is pretty much a lot of blessings that's going to be coming in for you. And I feel like, you know, whatever you have sent out into the world, it's going to be very well received, okay? It's going to get you recognition. It's going to also, Six of Wands is a big card about success. It's going to get you a wide following. It's going to get you a lot of recognition. And you're going to be, you know, going through some type of a acknowledgement phase where people are telling you you're being acknowledged for, you know, whatever project, whatever work, whatever um, situation you were involved in that you spent a lot of time and a lot of resources and a lot of your personal energy trying to get it off the ground. You're going to be, it's going to be very well received pretty much, okay? And so in the future, I see some of you saying like, Please help me this time, and next time I promise I'll, you know, spend more time on it. And I feel like your guides heard you. They really stepped in and intervened here and really helped you get some major thing off the ground. And the promise that you make, you have to keep. So that means we don't want a repeat of whatever is happening here. We want to make sure that we allocate enough time to situations so that they this doesn't happen again so that you don't deal with this time crunch the next mercury retrograde period which is you know in about four months time three and a half months time okay so that's just something you want to be cognizant about okay i feel like some of you turn in something and you're just like if i had more time it would be you know perfect and i feel like no no matter what it's still really really getting you know positive results it and it's getting it, it, it passed the, the, the bar, it, it passed the critics, so I feel like it, it's still it's still really high quality work, but you don't believe so because you guys are very hard on yourself, okay? So if we move away from this energy, everything on this side looks really just amazing. So let me talk a little bit about this here. Finances and career, ten of um, pentacles, and we have as well the judgment card. Um, news coming in from family members, okay? There's going to be a lot of heavy news. Family gathering, families get together. Uh, news like, you know, baby showers, uh, birth, pregnancies, um, get-togethers regarding, like, celebration of, like, a major milestone, okay? Uh, family members could be getting married, engagements. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of... Um, even like, you know, 10-year anniversaries, like really, really big um, family gatherings that um, I, I'm seeing like, you know, the Ten of Pentacles. The Pentacle suit deals with earthly things. So it's a very slow moving energy. This is the family card and it indicates wealth and prosperity, especially wealth like joint finances that has been built up over time. So I feel like many of you are in a position where you are getting paid really, really well. You might have seen as well, this is the success card, a major uptick when it comes to your financial situation, either getting a bonus, getting a raise, getting recognition, which would guarantee that there's a raise down the line for you. So I see a major escalation or a major uptick when it comes to your financial situation. Um, if you share finances or have joint finances with another person, I'm definitely seeing as well some, you know, some really, really good news coming through on the financial front. You know, it is, uh, we're nearing tax season or the end of tax season. So for some of you, there could be bonuses. There could be, you know, uh, money coming back in for you. So I, I do see these things that, um, that will make you quite happy. It's like giving you a little bit of a bounce in your step, okay? And then I'm also feeling as well, if you are dealing with a fire sign in particular, so this is um, especially like a Leo energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And we have news, communication, new love, messages of love, or communication with another person where they really 
open up and they start to express to you if this is like a long-standing partner things are going to be really really good between the two of you there might even be uh, a lot of like getting together introducing you to their family um, meeting their family as well for the first time and things like that so if you are in particular dealing with a fire sign they are also at a point where they might be um, coming into a lot of success as well okay they're they're coming into a lot of success so like their career is looking really really good they might be getting a promotion and I feel like you know in a way they're going to shower you with a lot of gifts they're going to shower you with a lot of attention because I know that many of you really stick by your partner okay through thick and thin like you you're there for them you give them advice you are kind of like the career coach you show them how to do things and you're very very big on developing your partner's professional um, reputation or even helping your your partner professionally or even on the work front okay and so I feel like you know they're coming into their own luck and fortune and they're going to be able to shower you with a lot of gifts as a result of you standing kind of like by their side through through their own you know professional slums or through their own slump in when it comes to their self-esteem okay um, I have the star and the hermit and the high priestess um, these are major arcana cards and they're they're very very spiritual cards okay they're all about the sixth sense awakening the sixth sense believing in spirituality uh, believing in prayers believing that there is a divine source out there that's you know maneuvering behind the scenes helping to align things and put things in order for us and I feel like many of you are at a point where if you weren't a believer before this month is making you a believer okay and so this is your spirit guides right here guiding you to your destiny and with the high priestess it's the unveiling process so the unveiling process has to happen first so they came pretty much in this order right you have to kind of like unveil yourself and you have to kind of uh, let go of the skepticism okay this is like whatever veil you know it's sort of like that movie the matrix where um, the matrix is all make-believe and so we kind of have to train our mind to look at a situation through a different perspective and trust that reality can be all very very relative okay so I feel like there's a major unveiling process happening here where you are discovering something it's almost like you know finding a treasure digging for treasure and then finding it digging for bones for those of you who are archaeologists and then finding like something uh, peeking out from under you know under the the earth unearthing something and so this has to happen first and then your guides will come in and show you the way and the star is pretty much about you know your alignment where you're supposed to be where you're supposed to go and ultimately what your destiny is what your ultimate destiny is and so I feel like many of you are at a point where you're kind of um, you know the the past year has not been easy for a lot of Capricorns and I, I feel really bad because uh, I know that you you guys have been hit really really hard and the best way that I can explain it is it is a, a Saturn transit and Saturn deals with obligation responsibilities it's not a fun planet it stays in your sign for about three years so it has already passed your sign for a year so you've got like I'm sorry to say another you know uh, over a year and a half of it left but what it does is that it forces us to be the bigger person it forces us to take care of the things that are important to us and Saturn is also your ruling planet and what, what it does is that it's comfortable in your sign actually okay but it does bring up a lot of um, uncomfortable things to emotions especially you know because you guys are very stoic whenever you have problems you kind of um, you, you don't tell other people about it you don't open up and 
you don't see them as problems. You you kind of see them as, you know, oh, that's just a minor snag in the road of life, or that's just a, a little bump, or that's just a, a temporary obstacle. I'm going to get through it. And, and because of that, you do get through it. You know, one foot in front of the other, and just keep moving, right? Like, that's your mantra. And um, I, I feel like, you know, the last year was uh, a lot of unexpected things happen and a lot of responsibilities were placed on you. Moving into this year, you're already used to having those uh, responsibilities imposed on you. And so this year is a little bit smoother and the next year gets a lot smoother. But what it's doing right now is for us to kind of like make some changes when it comes to how to streamline and make things more efficient and be more adaptable be there so if you need help like if you need physical help if you're gun shy about you know spiritual help and you need something concrete you definitely can reach out and i feel like the message is to urge you to to reach out because um i'm seeing a lot of ancestral energy and when that comes up it usually means a whole clan a whole family a whole tribe is being protected from people like in that um, bloodline that have passed away. So that usually means your whole family is protected. And because of that, your guides might want you to ask your family because they're going to be there. Okay? So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. I'm really glad we're uh, closing off this cycle with your reading because this looks really, really good. And I feel like April is going to be a shine.